Bradley. Bell. Bentley. Dell. Hey, what's up, guys? Laptop Nuts here with another great video. So today I will be unpackaging, reviewing, and quickly taking apart Dell Latitude 9440. So let's go. things I would like to mention about Dell 9440 all-in-one. So even though I wasn't able to see many different versions which are avail normally available for such uh, grade, I probably call this grade more of like a general consumer use because uh, it doesn't have a fancy graphics card or uh, it's not really expensive, but normally there would be about eight to ten different configurations. However, for this model, Dell only offered one option with a Core i7 processor of 13th generation, or there are two different speeds for Core i5 13th generation. It does come with a 16 gig memory RAM. It can go up to 32, it's a DDR5. And also, there is only option for some reason, it's uh, to go with a SSD. It's either 256 or 512. But the best part about this laptop, and I think it's kind of new feature, because I mean I've played with uh, hundreds of different laptops uh, especially the Dell ones and uh, here's a few things that I want to mention so first of all this particular model comes with a QHD plus anti-smudge anti-glare and a pen ready LCD screen like I mentioned previously it does not have any dedicated graphics so it comes with an onboard iris Intel graphics card there is only one option in terms of the battery so it, uh, it's a three cell a 60 watt battery and one of the best features it's actually front FHD camera so it does have a smart express sign-in feature so that once the camera recognize your face it will automatically turn on and uh, it will lock automatically while you are away and also uh, the best part is that uh, you can actually control your mic and uh, your camera with f4 and f9 keys also the dell did a very good job on this nice modern sleek keyboard dell is actually indicating that because of this new generation led backlight it saves up to 70% of energy and can extend the battery life for up to three hours. I mean, this is something out of this world. Dell has a redesigned touchpad, so it has a haptic touchpad which equally register clicks throughout the whole surface. And last but not least, this is the first Dell laptop of uh, such grade where they actually installed dual cooling system as well as four speakers. Uh, normally they would do such uh, laptops on like the precision series or gaming laptops, but I never seen this on the Latitude before. So I'm very anxious to remove the bottom case to see what's going on inside. Again, uh, what can be repaired, what can be replaced, what we can upgrade and overall to see the new technology, so let's go! As usual, I'm gonna be starting from the bottom case and remove all the screws, there looks like six of them, and the bottom case will pop out like a butter. So uh, now I will be using my pry tool here and uh, just simply pop one of the corners. Actually, I would definitely recommend to start from the rear part because up front there are internal mounts which you potentially might break. So uh, as you can see, the, the bottom case was removed super easy. So here is the battery which is fairly easy to replace. Uh, the white sticker represents the actually part number, so if in case you need to replace it, this is the LTE connector, and there are also some connections for the, for the antenna. Here is the SSD card. So as far as I can see, I think it's pretty bad news that 
On this laptop, the only thing we can actually upgrade, it would be SSD. There is only one spot currently it has a 256 gig uh, SSD stick here. And there is also, as you can see, some important instructions on how to properly remove the caddy so not to damage it. Now, please read it carefully. And here we go. Here's the uh, 256 gig SSD drive. And that's about it. I was honestly kind of upset because normally Dell will give you an option to upgrade the memory RAM. And at first uh, I thought the memory RAM will be located, at least one stick will be located here right by the uh, heatsink but it's actually you had to remove completely the heatsink to see it but uh, we kind of took a peek and there is just a part of the heatsink so there is nothing really special so that's pretty sad so you pretty much stuck with uh, either 16 gig or 32 whichever you will choose but normally the uh, the Dell will overcharge you for additional memory RAM so very, very sad, uh, as well as a Wi-Fi card. So Wi-Fi card is a built-in as well, so it cannot be upgraded. As you can see, there are four uh, speakers, which will give you pretty amazing sound. So, and that's about it. Much love and peace to everybody.